Ethan, welcome. Uh, your calls earlier this year have, were prescient. Why are you sticking with that half point and not running with, a, with an increasing crowd who say three quarters is likely tomorrow? Well, I, I don't think it's out of the question. I think that it makes sense for the Fed to think about doing 75, not just at this meeting, but at the next meeting after that. Um, they are behind the curve. Uh, the recent data has been quite ugly. I think the main argument for 50 uh, is that if you think about it, the Fed has moved from being really very slow and behind the curve to actually moving pretty quickly. Um, the May, June, and July meetings are only three months. I mean, it's a very tight Fed calendar right now. So they'll, after over a three month period, if they follow what they're saying they're going to do, they'll hike 150 basis points. That's a pretty aggressive uh, movement. Um, and the other thing I think to keep in mind here is that, of course, you could argue that the Fed needs to do more rate hikes, but they're not going to go all the way to their terminal rate in a quick set of steps. They need, to, they need to give themselves at least a little bit of breathing space to see how the economy is handling the shock. And you have to admit, the uh, financial markets have taken a pretty big hit uh, in recent months. I think appropriately, the Fed is really trying to cool off uh, the markets. So I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, pounding the table. They're not going to go 75. It's cer certainly they could, uh, but I'm kind of leaning towards 50. One of the things that, that, that occurs to me is that I think uh, Chair Powell and the Fed in recent years has become much more focused on transparent messaging. And the messaging, certainly at the last meeting and at the press conference afterward, was that we're looking at a half point rise uh, and that that seemed appropriate for the next meeting and maybe the one after that. And, and he said, in response to Leisman, uh, you know, 75 basis points sort of off the table. So maybe yeah. the argument for the 50 basis points is we want to follow through with what our prior messaging was and not diverge from that. And at tomorrow's meeting, say, listen, we may go three quarters of a point at subsequent meetings. I just wonder how, yeah. how much messaging consistency plays into their thinking as well? I think it plays some role. Um, if you think about the recent news flow, so the New York, uh, uh, the Wall Street Journal reporter who reported the Fed was considering a 75 basis point hike. Right. Uh, I think that one of the reasons he said that was be to correct what Powell had said a month ago to Steve Leisman, which was, it's not on the table. Right. And so put it on the table through the press, the Fed has put it on the table. Does that mean that there's a hidden message here that putting it on the table means they're definitely going to do it? That's where the real debate is here. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I think that um, it's slightly more likely that they go 50 basis points. They've got a long way to go here. Um, you know, this is a war, not a, not a, you know, not a skirmish. This is going to take a while. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.